Ciao e bentornati, welcome back to Pillole di Italiano. L'episodio di oggi, episodio numero 114, è la terza parte della miniserie Watch That Ending. In the last couple of weeks we've been looking at words, nouns specifically, that have both masculine and feminine ending in Italian with completely different meanings. So, Um, we are simply dealing with vocabulary. If you missed the previous episodes, you can either go and watch them right now by clicking on the link that it appears above my head, or you can wait until the end of this episode. There is no specific order since we're dealing with vocabulary. Today we're going to look at six more couples of words that have different meanings according to their gender. The last couple is going to surprise you. You'll see. But before we dive in, a word from your favorite sponsor, yours truly. Raffle time! It's back to school month and I am working with CampFed to help this wonderful organization put as many African girls as possible through school. To make things exciting, I will be organizing a raffle and donating all of the net proceeds to CampFed. I will raffle off three spots for PEM, one of my most exclusive services. PEM stands for Private Audio Message, which is what the three lucky raffle winners will be receiving from me every week for a month. All you need to do to enter the raffle is click the link below or above this video and get yourself a ticket. Let's make this back to school month really special for the campfed girls and for you. Get yourself a raffle ticket now. Ciao, a presto! And now, let's go back to today's video. La prima coppia è il colpo e la colpa. Il colpo, la colpa. Il colpo significa the hit or the strike is a noun, not the verb. And la colpa has a couple of different meanings, but mainly means uh, blame, fault, guilt. La seconda coppia di oggi è il fato e la fata. Il fato, la fata. Il fato significa the fate, like in destiny. La fata is fairy, the fairy, like in the fairy tale. La terza coppia di oggi è il manto e la manta. Il manto, la manta. Il manto significa the cloak, what nowadays you might be wearing for Halloween. Well, la manta is a manta ray, the animal, similar to a stingray, but I think it's bigger. La quarta coppia è il modo e la moda. Il modo la moda. Il modo significa the way, a way that you do something, il modo di fare. La moda is fashion. La quinta coppia è il visto e la vista. Il visto, la vista. Il visto is the visa, um, one that you might need to travel to a different country, il visto turistico. La vista is the view, but it could also be eyesight. La vista. E adesso la sesta e ultima coppia del giorno è una coppia un po' particolare. Il fine e la fine. Il fine, la fine. I told you at the beginning of this episode that the six couple might have sounded a bit weird because if you look at the word fine without the article, it's exactly the same. Um, it's a word that ends in E with the letter uh, that we pronounced E in italiano and it could be both a masculine and a feminine word. So the distinction is actually made by the article. Il fine, that will be masculine, la fine, that will be feminine. What does that mean? Il fine significa the goal, like an objective that you're trying to achieve, il fine. La fine significa the end, which is so apropos because this is the end of today's episode. But before you go on with your day, take a moment to leave a comment and play with some of the words that we've seen today. Create your original sentences, practice, and I will give you feedback. I truly hope you enjoyed today's episode. If so, don't forget to like it, subscribe to the channel if you're new to it, and I will see you soon. Ciao, a presto!